Hey folks, we're working on a chain pull rose today. I only have two colors. We have black. Uh, this is what I'm gonna flood the canvas with. It's Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylics in black. Mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol. And the only other thing I'm using is an interference pigment. This is this little piggy twinkle. It shifts from blue to purple to magenta. Uh, I had it left over from a previous pour and that's why I'm using it today. Plus I think it'll be an awesome color to make a rose with. The other things I'm working with are I have these ball chains from the hardware store. I've got some paint scrapers, I've got something to scrape into, and a cup of hot water. And I am going to have to pause and wash my chains over and over again because I only have six of them, and that is not nearly enough to do what I want to do. So I'm going to give you my tips before we get started, and that way I can just kind of fast forward through the process because making these chain pull roses takes a long time. Um, so when you are doing a chain pull, it's easiest if you do the chain pull so you're pulling all of the paint towards the outside edge of the canvas. If you're pulling it towards the inside, like when you're doing a rose, for example, what we're doing, you'll end up with a giant blob of paint in the middle. And if you don't scrape it up with a scraper, um, you will end up with a giant muddy mess in your middle. And that's not at all what we want. So that's why I have scrapers and something to scrape into. You can use spoons, you can use, I mean, anything that you can basically dab in the paint and scrape off will work. Uh, you just need a way to get that paint out of the center. So you'll see me doing that over and over again. Um, so first I'm going to flood the canvas with black. You want a very thin layer when you are flooding your canvas for a chain pull because you're going to be pulling all of the extra off and if there's too much it'll start flowing over the chain and it'll ruin your design and that's not what you want. So make sure you flood with a very, very thin layer. Uh, and then I will be dipping my chains in the twinkle and letting the excess dry off before I set up my petals and pull. That's basically everything you need to know. Uh, I'm working on a 12 by 12 canvas. It's one that I used for, or I tried to use for a cloud pour and it was a total fail. So I scraped it. Um, so I'm reusing that canvas if it, you know, if you happen to see the color before I flood it, if I don't edit that out, that would be why. Uh, so I will get my canvas all set up and then I will hit fast forward for you. So you can watch this in, double or triple time so it's a little less tedious to get through but stick around i'll be right back 